Economics students. Welcome to BSc 2212. This is Professor Gavor. I'm delighted that I will be your professor this semester. And when you go into Canvas, you'll find the link to our course has this uh, graphic from the textbook, Microeconomics. So click on it, and you go right here. There's a syllabus of the class. We'll talk about that in a little bit. There's two other documents, which I'll refer to in another video. And here's the textbook. It's free. You can always open it up here, or you can just download it to your own hard drive and make it easier to access. Then we have this thing called Hawks Learning. Well, Hawks Learning is the homework tool that we will use. The book is free, and I've always done a free book and not charged, you know, assigned the homework myself and graded it myself. When we went fully online because of the pandemic in March of 2020, Hawks Learning offered their homework modules for free. I took advantage of it. They were okay. I think I've refined how I'm going to use them but it will cost you $40. I apologize for any charge at all, but $40 is a modest fee. You can use it for 21 days for free, but you will not be able to proceed past 21 days without paying them $40. If you buy it from the uh, bookstore, it'll probably cost you $50 because the bookstore has to make some money on it. Okay, the course is simple. I'm not even probably just gonna paraphrase the syllabus here, and we'll go over it more deeply in class. Every week, we're going to cover one chapter. There's 13 weeks, 13 chapters. Very simple. Every week, there will be a discussion. The discussion is worth 20 points. And every week, there's homework from the Hawks Learning. There's homework and a chapter quiz. There are sections in the book. Each section is worth 10 points. You have to get a proficiency of 80, so there's five questions per section usually. You have to get four out of the five questions right in order to take the quiz. The quiz then is worth 35 points. Now, if you don't pass the sections on the first try, you have one try, it, if you don't get 80%, you've got to go back and go through the Hawks learning reading of the book and answering questions and it gives you answers so that when the next time you take the quiz you can get 80 points. So pay attention to the lecture, read the textbook, take the quiz. They're not hard, there's some math involved. Sometimes. Alright, so if we open this, you'll see that Chapter Zero Review. This is a basic math algebra review. It is for no credit, but if you feel you need it, by all means, do it. Chapter One sections, there's two of them here. I think there's four in the textbook, but we're testing on two of them, are worth 10 points each. The Chapter One quiz is 35 points. You have to demonstrate 80% proficiency in each section quiz, to, in, in each section to take the quiz. Okay, so keep that in mind. Here's my maxim right from the beginning. Keep up. These are due August 30th, Sunday. August 31st, Monday, we start Chapter 2. There'll be more section homework and more quizzes. And another quiz and another discussion. You've got to do the work in the week. If you're not prepared to do that, you'll get a lesser grade. Now, there's no limit on when you can do this, but don't let the work accumulate. It's just a bad habit, and it's, it's better in, it, in your, for your own sake to develop the work ethic to get stuff done quickly. Okay, so that's homework. The discussion is worth 20 points, and it's due August 30th. So every week, everything is due the Sunday of that week. The week starts Monday, and... I would like you to actually just start the discussion now. 
All right, we haven't covered it yet, but we've talked about uh, microeconomics focusing on firms and households as opposed to macroeconomics focusing on nations and global economies. We also talked about the circular flow diagram and how households and firms benefit each other. From your perspective, how did the COVID pandemic impact your household in general? Uh, do you know folks that were infected? Uh, uh, you know, to what degree? Did they recover? Did they unfortunately pass away? I mean, you can share that if you want. How did it impact employment within your household? How did the, that employment change with the pandemic? For, you know, did people start working at home? Did they lose their jobs? What, what happened? And for certain, comment on yourself. If you had a job, part-time job, uh, before the pandemic, uh, how was it affected by the pandemic? If you look for a summer job, what luck did you have in finding one this summer? All right. Were there changes in how you and the rest of your household uh, shopped for and bought goods and services? Were there changes in the kinds of goods and services you bought? Did your e-commerce purchases increase and your brick and mortar purchases go down? Lastly, how do you think work and shopping may have permanently changed because of this? I see some typos in here. I'll have to fix it. Uh, don't feel you have to write a thousand word essay here unless you're really into it. I'm not going to limit you one way or the other. But I'll tell you, if you write only 25 words, you only get eight or nine points out of 20 for this. Uh, you must submit a post before you can read the posts of others. If you then read the posts of others and think, oh my God, my post was really lame, feel free to add by replying to yourself. Give credit to the students whose posts influenced you or educated you. You're also encouraged to seek out articles to educate yourself and to get graphics or quotes regarding this topic. If you do so, cite the graphs and quotes and provide the URL of the article. I'll always say this, have some fun and learn something. So that's where we're at with week one. You'll notice that week two I have PowerPoint slides and videos for chapter two up already. I haven't put the assignments, but, and I will provide probably another video on how Hawk's learning works. So let's make this first video kind of shorter and sweeter. We can look at the syllabus, the class from 915 to 1020, Johnson 206. This class is face-to-face, -face, Mondays and Wednesdays, in the Johnson Center. Since we only have uh, 20 students and the room takes 22, I can fit everybody in the room. That's wonderful. So Monday and Wednesdays, come to class. The Friday class will be on MS Teams. This is not optional. I will not be there. That's what makes this a hybrid. I applied myself for hybrid teaching. I could have taught the whole class online, but I want to uh, be there Mondays and Wednesdays, but Fridays we'll be, we'll be doing it remotely. The socially distanced room is configured to hold 25 students. We have 20 students enrolled. Thus, all students can attend who want to attend the live class. Who can attend and who want to attend the live class can. Others with permission to attend via MS Teams are free to do so. Watch the Canvas announcements to see how to get permission to do that. It's not my permission to give, it's a university-wide permission. So if you feel uncomfortable coming to class, uh, watch the other video that I will post in the first announcement along with this one. Um, the book is free. Hawks Learning is 40. It's mandatory. Hawks Learning also sends, sells a hard copy of the textbook if you want a hard copy. And they also have a notebook for tracking your homework, which costs 25. I'm not requiring that, but you're free to buy it. You'll see every week, week one, chapter one, week two, chapter two. Very simple. It goes to chapter 13. 
then Thanksgiving breaks. Week 14, which is the final week, the week after Thanksgiving. Chapters, um, well, it's chapters 14 through 19. Again, there's typos here. Uh, I'm going to assign a final project. You pick one of those chapters and do a final project in one of those. It shouldn't be real hard, and we'll unveil it as we go forward. Uh, here's how the point structure works. 44 sections in the 13 chapters, 10 points each for those section, uh, Hawks learning sections. I dropped the lowest two, so it goes to 42, you get 420 points there. There's 13 chapters at 35 points each for the quizzes. I'll drop the lowest one, so there's 420, again, I'm not sure that math is right, I'll check it to make sure. Um, there will be 14 online discussions, one per week. Uh, they're worth 20 points each. Two will be dropped. So you'll get, well, one will be dropped. Let's put it that way. And so you get 12. 12 times 20 is 240. There'll be two papers. The Invisible Hand, first one, and Tragedy of the Commons, the second one. 50 points each goes to 100. The final Project 75 points adds up to 12.55. And that's basically it. The rest of the syllabus, all the policy, don't cheat, come to class, you know, etc. I will talk more the first week of class. I don't want to make this video too long. Some of my lecture videos are real long. You'll find out. They serve two purposes, the lectures. They introduce the material and they will put you to sleep. When I said that the Friday classes will be live, but on Microsoft Teams, you've got to call in. There's not an option. I will take attendance. If you're not familiar with Microsoft Teams, it's part of Office 365 that North Park University provides. You can look at it online and use it, but I would strongly recommend that there's an app that you can download for your PC, whether it's a P, uh, Windows-based or Mac. And I've got the app on my telephone as well. More to follow on that as well. All right. Uh, I will populate before the first class. I'll populate probably the first four or five weeks of this and try to get it uh, as organized as possible, but I want to get some information out to you as early as possible. Thank you very much. We'll see you all in class.